Hey guys, what's up? Super Sonic TNT here, and welcome to a different type of video. Now, recently, Speakit 1.8 is been released. If you guys don't know what Speakit is, um, Speakit is a modified version of Bucket, and Bucket is a server type of server, like it's a modified type of server, which basically lets you add plugins and stuff to your server. So recently, you know how 1.8 came out, that everyone's like, oh, update, and then Bucket got DMCA, which basically means you can't download the stuff, and so now, like, you, they, like, had to do stuff, and, yeah, speak it 1.8, or, okay, let me restart, speak it, I can't see, I forgot, so speak it 1.8 came out, um, but, but, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, what really hate, hated us, but really killed killed us. OSX is not supported at this time. But then I'm like, no, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Prove you wrong. And I did. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a speaking 1.8 server full with plugins and stuff. So what you're gonna need first is you're gonna wanna go on your desktop. Here's my desktop and you're gonna wanna create a new folder called speak it or just called anything you want. I call this speak it server 1.8 and just have that on your desktop then what you want to do is you want to go back into the internet and you want to go to this website speakingmc.info when you get there there should be this link right away um and this will update as more things come up but speaking 1.8 just came out so what you want to do is you want to just oh crap like a play but you want speaking more trust me so what you want to do you want to download that i already have it downloaded so um i'll show you that works uh, keep and then speak it 1658. jar. I'm just gonna cancel that. Then, um, let me think. Yeah, then what you want to do is you want to just take that and you want to do no, that technical launcher, ignore that. Um, wow, it's not even sorry, sorry. See, this is what happens when you, when you do stuff, it's not in my actual. Let me show and find. Give me a second, guys. I gotta find my. Right? Okay, you have a runaway um, file. Let's just redownload this. So we feel this. Thing. Gosh. Okay, it's there now. So what you wanna do is it should be new download. You wanna take that, just drag that into your folder. Take it. Okay. See, this is why. You just. Hello. Hello. Well, okay, let me fix this up here at that. Okay, found the thing. What you want to do is you just want to... Let me create a new finder window. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to downloads. And then what you want to just do is you want to just drag that in there. Alright, done. So now what you want to do is... Don't don't click that yet. You should, as you see, this start server command. That's not there right away. What I did, um, what you have to do on Mac is you have to like, it's not like a regular Minecraft server where you can just double click, it'll, it'll work. It won't work like that. So what you want to do, you want to go on the text edit and um, um, you want to new document and you want to, let me just open this with text edit actually. You want to have this code, which will be in the link in the description down below. Um, I'll tell you what everything does. These don't matter necessarily. This matters, which um, also I recommend changing this name. I'm kind of back and forth with these things. Sorry, not a great tutorial video, but okay. You want to rename this to speak it that jar just for easier um, stuffs. Then what you want to do? You want to go back to text edit. This um, part means nothing. This thing is your um how many gigabytes of ram you're using so this number represents how many gigabytes of ram you're using and you shouldn't use half a gigabyte of ram you should be using at least one gigabyte of ram i think the default should be two i haven't set as three um so i'm just gonna change it to two right now real quick though so two gigabytes of ram this doesn't necessarily matter. I don't think we even need it anymore, but I'm keeping it just because I don't want to mess with the code. And then this is your jar file, and then I'm not sure what that does. But the really only important things is this and this. 
So you want to keep that there and then you want to just save it. Um, let me show you what you should do. So I'm copying that. New document. You want to just copy that. Then you go to format, make plain text. That's good. Then you just save it. And you save it as start that server command. And then you save it to your speaker 1.8 file. And then you'll be good. So I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need to. Uh, delete. That's why we have that. And then you could just put that in there. Now, what you want to do is, if I'm correct, you want to just double click that. This should pop up. A Java thing should pop up. And if all goes well, this will happen. Starting my cluster in 1.8, loading properties, server properties, disasters, generating, and it just failed to load EULA. You need to agree to EULA. Then you want to go to this file, EULA.txt. You want to change that to true. Then you also want to go to server.properties, which hasn't loaded yet. Never mind. Okay. Then you want to re-click this. It's going to restart again with Java just to ignore that part and then it's gonna have everything load up <coughs> so it's good to enter it's a great world it's doing all this stuff just ignore that and then preparing spawn region 42 this is for and then it should say done surprising I haven't even put in anything for yeah this service running craft bucket version git spigot implementing api version 1.8.0.1 snapshot this is what you want you want that that's good starting minecraft server on start 555 yeah you know the port that is the port and your server should be ready to go and then um, this acts as your normal server file so you could just say hi see say you know your normal hope it's your normal server files and then you want to just hit stop and then you'll be done server will be done and then we're not done yet so what you want to do is you want to go to server properties and these are all your properties um what you have to do is you have to make sure your port is the same and then your ip to your um port forwarded server there are plenty of videos out there to do that so I'm not gonna go into detail with that I'm just gonna quickly put in my IP uh, I can't actually do it right now. Uh, I'll show you the little actually um yeah yeah we're good I, I can just do localhost but you want to put your IP there next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into how but we can create plugin so um Speaking also had the courtesy to update plugins and what we're going to do is we're going to use essentials because that's important. So I'm going to have to download all of these so just use my interruption. It's a lot of files just uh, roll it. Keep. You want to hit keep with all of these. Uh, let me show you all. Keep, 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 keep. Okay, now you've got all of those downloaded. Um, and I believe you don't need the internet anymore unless you want to download any of these more plugins. Uh, I'm not going to right now, so I'm just going to minimize this. Uh, and the link will be in the description to this and this. Um, you don't really need this, this is just here to prove a point. Um, and then Windows and Linux, they have supportation, so you can do that. So, yeah. Now, um, I don't need this. So now what you're gonna do is you have all these plugins, you're just going to new finder window. I'm just gonna go into downloads. You're going to hover over all of these. These are um, all the things that have essential support. You're going to do that, and you're just going to quickly 
move that over here and as you can see I have actually an extra so I'm not gonna do that uh, just gonna quickly do that then what you want to do is you just go back hit your start dash server command and then everything should start loading properly and then in a minute okay so the server is loading let's just take a look at it. ignore all that essential seems to be working fine now what we're gonna do we're gonna minimize this we're gonna minimize this we're gonna go into minecraft and i'll show you that the server is working perfectly fine but that's basically your server let's see if it can work let's see if i can connect that's the question of the day everyone let's find out So I'm just gonna keep oh it goes to full screen. Okay, that's okay. So what you gotta do, you're just gonna, gonna go uh for me I'm gonna do local close. For you, you're gonna type in the address um that you want. Hit localhost. And as you can see, your world is perfectly fine. Game mode one. I need to give myself game mode one. See, as you can see, the ID is working. Ah, super. Slash game mode one. That's strange. Oh, there you go. Oh. But yeah, everything should be working. Oh. So yeah, everything seems to be working. I'm going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys on the next Actually, you know what? Something's not right because... It seems like one of the essentials plug in. So yeah, I need to fix that. Uh, I'll be right back because I cannot leave you guys with inaccurate information. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it seems that is the plugins essentials essentially isn't necessarily working for Mac right now. Uh, I'll try to get that fixed later or something, but you can basically run your server right now. 1.8, speak it, and as plugins update, you can add them on. So I'm gonna end off the episode here. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment in the comment section down below. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Until we get stable. Peace.